the snow remained on Soda for quite a while. The engines were getting ready. To get ready for the holiday cheer, and on the narrow gauge rail, railway, which is all called Scalay Railway, railway, was very busy. In fact, you could say that they were busier than the North Western Railway. When Christmas comes, the narrow gauge engines, engines love to sing carols at their own shed. One day Duncan came in to collect his train. Billy was pleased to see. Doesn't the snow look lovely? It does wonders for me. Yes, but not for me. I do have to admit, it does look beautiful, though. Oh. Yes, I suppose so. But still it causes trouble. We almost have snow on Soda every Christmas. It's quite annoying. Oh, you're just fed up with snow. Oh, it's beautiful. Now remember that, Duncan. Beautiful in my foot. Or wheel in this case, said Duncan. Duncan was tired and fed up. The trucks were also being very silly that day. Eventually, Duncan found a boarded up line. This duck's blocked. Blocked. I pull. This is one of the young siding. He tried to go back, but the trucks tried to make him go forward. Then Duncan crashed straight through the barrier. Oh no! Duncan crashed through some snow. And then. Hit a truck. The truck, truck flew off the rails. The load in it went all over Duncan. Duncan was covered in horrible off milk. But he still carried on. And he groaned as he did. Ugh. This milk's out of date. Duncan crashed into a thick wall of snow. Poor Duncan was buried. Help! Help me! He cried, but no one could. Duncan was cold and he smelt awful. I'm a disaster, he moaned. I wish someone would come and help me. All of a sudden, a bit of snow came came and covered more of Duncan. Oh no! cried Duncan. Now he was completely frozen. That evening the engines were at the sheds. They were about to sing cows when they realised that Duncan wasn't there. Duncan's missing! cried Rusty, who was Duncan's best friend. On Christmas Eve night too, cried Luke. Then it's settled then. Let's go and look for him, said Sir Handel. Oh. The North West... Our, our, our railway is not as big as the North Western Railway. Uh, so, well, I'm sure we'll find them quite easily. Easily. Yes, we sure will. Let's go. We're going to go and save Duncan, said Peter Sam, who was Sam's best friend. They had known each other ever since they were, they were young engines. Scholar, eh? Then zoomed away. And so did his brother Aeneas.
the ancient search time low. Left. The right. As soon as he came towards the snowdrift. Oh dear. Well, let's bump this thing out of the way. Ow! What was that? Help. Duncan, you're in there. Don't worry, my driver will dig you out. Sure. Duncan was dug out of the snow. Alright, Duncan. I'll turn around and get you back to the yard. Soon as he came back. And by the way, what is that horrible white stuff on you? Oh, yeah. Uh, and why is there a bar barrel on your cab? Oh, it's off milk rusty. Duncan was quickly cleaned and he sang carols for the rest of the night with his friends. And Duncan smiled. He had an adventure. Adventure on Christmas Eve night. This was truly the best Christmas ever.